they are bulky and powerful, but that is not all. They are also intelligent, empathetic, and have surprising abilities. Welcome to the 19th episode of YouTube's favorite show, Animal Battle. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present you our two competitors. The African Elephant versus the Asian Elephant. And don't forget that at the end of the video, you are going to vote the winner and find out who won the last battle between the server and the ocelot. Let's do it! I am Mario and this amazing series is Animal Battle. In order to find out which animal is better, we are going to evaluate both of them based on six different characteristics, which are none other than agility, attack, defense, intelligence, bonus skill, and survival. I am sure that their attack and defense stats are going to be incredible, but I think you will be more amazed when we will talk about their bonus skills and intelligence stats. I would usually start with agility right away, but firstly, we actually need to be able to differentiate these two elephants. It is quite easy to tell them apart. Just know that African elephants are found in, quite frankly, Africa, have larger ears, a rounded head, and a trunk with two finger-like tips. While Asian elephants can be found in, you guessed it, Asia, have smaller ears, foreheads with two humps, and have trunks with only one finger-like tip. Now we shall start with agility. Both the African and the Asian elephant can reach speeds of up to 40 km per hour, which is amazing for their massive sides. But even when they reach high speeds, they don't actually run. At any time, at least one foot touches the ground, so they are basically walking really fast. Also, elephants are some of the few animals that can't jump, because they are too heavy and stand on their toes. But, despite their large size, elephants can swim. It seems impossible, but they are able to swim pretty well and keep their trunks above the water to breathe. It is time to see their agility stats. They have pretty high agility stats, especially for their size. For now, they have the same stats, but let's see whether things are going to change when we will talk about their attack and defense stats. Have I mentioned that they are massive? On average, African elephants can reach 3.2 meters in height and weigh up to 6 tons, but some individuals can be as tall as 4.4 meters and weigh more than 10 tons. Asian elephants are smaller than their African relatives, reaching 2.75 meters in height on average and weighing 4 tons. The largest one recorded measured 3.43 meters in height and weighed 7 tons. Their size is already intimidating enough to keep predators away. But somebody thought that elephants are not overpowered enough and that they should have large tusks. African elephants have really massive tusks, which can get as long as 3.4 meters. Both male and female African elephants have tusks, which are used to lift heavy objects, mark territories, and for defense, as well as for offense. In Asian elephants, only males have tusks, while females lack them. But wait, there is more. African and Asian elephants also have very powerful trunks, which can be used to lift heavy objects or for protection. Neither African nor Asian elephants have any natural predators. Only their calves can sometimes be killed by large predators. Asian elephant calves can be preyed upon by tigers, while African elephant calves can be killed by lions, crocodiles, and sometimes leopards or hyenas. So are you ready to see their stats? Of course you are! African elephants have maximum attack and defense stats, and Asian elephants are slightly worse because they are not as big and females don't have tusks. But still, you wouldn't want to mess around with any of these two species. But, as I have mentioned earlier, their power is not the only amazing trait that they have. We are going to talk more about their other abilities in the bonus skill section. You already know that African elephants have larger ears, and that is because they live in a warmer climate. Elephants can use their ears to cool off. As the blood travels through the ear and the wind blows, it becomes cooler. Also, elephants can use their trunk to grab small objects. Did you know that elephants can hear with their feet? Usually they can hear high-frequency sounds, which come from 2 kilometers away. But 
in order to communicate over longer distances. Elephants emit low-pitched sounds which travel through the ground for 8 to 10 kilometers. These vibrations are sensed by their feet and are transmitted through their bones to their ears. But the biggest bonus kill that both of these species have is the fact that they form groups. This makes them even stronger and increases a lot their chance of survival. Females and their calves live in a herd of 6 to 70 members. A herd is led by the oldest female, called the matriarch, because she is the most experienced one. Males leave their herds when they are no longer calves and form new groups with other males. But older males are usually solitary, so their bonus kill stats are... Pretty good. Now let's go to their intelligence stats. And elephants are some of the smartest animals. They have a very high EQ, almost as high as chimpanzees. They can recognize themselves in the mirror, are creative, and are very good problem solvers using tools. Also, they have an amazing memory, being able to remember important locations like water sources along their migration routes. But perhaps the most important sign of their intelligence is the fact that they are empathetic and altruist. Elephants are the only non-human animals to mourn their dead. And if somebody harms them or their friends, elephants seek revenge. They attacked human villages after massive poachings. Elephants are truly intelligent animals, and we shall see their stats. As expected, they have very high intelligence stats. Seeing how impressive they are, elephants shouldn't have any problems with survival, right? Well, no, they don't do so good here, and of course, humans are the ones responsible for that. African elephants are listed as a vulnerable species, having a population of about 300,000 individuals, whilst Asian elephants are listed as an endangered species, with only 40 to 50,000 living individuals. Both of them can live 60 to 70 years in the wild. African elephants are intensely poached for their tasks, to make expensive objects out of ivory. Asian elephants have been domesticated by humans, but even though this worked great for dogs and cats, it is not favorable for elephants. In Asian countries, they are forced to work very hard. Some elephants just fall down due to fatigue, and others have wounds from the chains that they wear. Have you ever seen elephants performing in a circus show? They can do amazing tricks, but in order to tame elephants, humans starve them for days and hit them with a hook in their most sensitive parts. It is a shame that such impressive animals are treated so badly. Now let's see their final stats. They have amazing stats, but don't forget that only one of them can win this animal battle. Who is the winner? Well, it is up to you because you can vote the winner in the poll right there and leave your precious opinions in the comments down below and I will be happy to read them. Also tell your friends, parents and most importantly, tell your babushka to smash the subscribe button because it would make Spike very happy and we will not rest until you beat both PewDiePie and T-Series. Very nice! It is time to announce the winner of the last battle between the Serval and the Ocelot. So, after counting all the votes, the winner is... The Serval! It is an amazing hunter and definitely deserves to compete further for the title of the best animal in the world. And if you wanted the Ocelot to win, don't be upset, because here on M from Animals, we love and respect all animals. So, once again, don't forget to vote the winner of this episode's battle in the top right corner. And if you really like what I make, consider supporting me on Patreon to fill up the Patreon list with your name. Respect animals.